Alrighty guys, welcome to the vlog. It is Phuket time, you guessed it right. So guys, welcome to today's episode of Find Our Life. Um, we are here in Phuket currently with uh, with Anna. Um, we've had a great time over here. Uh, we've uh, just we just flew over for a bit of a weekend uh, getaway after some some couple of weeks of very hard hard work, um, long days, and then great great time with friends as well. So decided to have some uh, some quality time together here uh, in Phuket, which is one of our favorite destinations in Southeast Asia. Believe it or not, but it is a great place to be, so do make sure you pop by whenever you are traveling around this region. So, what is today's video all about? Um, I get this question quite a lot um, in terms of how can you actually be successful in your corporate career? Um, not to say that I've, I've been very successful myself, but um, I've, I've done a lot of work in my life and I've, I, I, um, I've achieved my sort of corporate career goals um, quite well so far um, so I just wanted to share with you guys what from my perspective what what are the key points um, in terms of how can you be the most successful in your corporate career now in addition to these seven points I'm sure there will be other ones as well so these are just the key points that that I think um, have helped me um, to advance my career um, or me to advance in my career at least um, to where I'm right now. Um, I've always want, uh, liked to work a lot. Um, I learned that from my father uh, back when I was 12, 13, 14 years old when he uh, hired me first time uh, as a summer, summer intern in a, in a local fast food restaurant back in uh, Helsinki in Carol's. Um, so it is something that I've learned from a very young age. So basically that instilled a, a drive to me which in, in which I want to uh, uh, basically develop myself all the time, whatever I do in life, uh, whatever I do for a living um, as well. So, so that is something that, that's been a key driver for me. But in, on top of that, seven key drivers, how to be successful in your corporate career. Number one, define your skill, define your passion. Now, without passion in life, it is very difficult to be successful in whatever you do. Um, now you need to have that certain spark in your butt uh, to get get your up, get you out of the bed each morning to, to do very very hard work repeatedly um, over a long period of time without ever giving up. So that is a key key aspect. Find your passion in life and define the skill that you need to be able to fulfill that passion. Um, to me. Um, I always basically wanted to be um, an expert in finance. I, I remember in back in when I when I was a very very young kid, I looked up to my grandfather who was a, a manager in a in a local bank branch um, back in Finland, and, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever in the world. Um, and I my favorite game <laughs> game was Monopoly. Uh, obviously, a, a great finance game for kids to start your finance career. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. So basically, define your passion, define your skills. So what I wanted to do in university uh, is obviously study banking and finance, and on the side of that, accounting as well. So that be became natural to me. Um, uh, and obviously, it was very easy for me to then study back in university as well because I, I liked I liked the numbers. I like how numbers do basically explain a lot of things in life and and how how. Um, um, corporate finance and finance in, in general um, when you understand when you understand that very very well it will drive a lot of things in life a lot of things things in, in this world so when you define your passion and define your skill um, obviously the next step so number two 
of the key success factors in your corporate career is to sell your, sell, sell your skills and sell your passion. So what that means is basically find um, the company that you want to work for. Um, be specific in terms of what that would be, whether that is a multinational, whether that's your own business, whether that's a startup of, of um, anyone, anyone else's, uh, whatever that might be. Find that place where you want to be and set yourself a few different options of where, where you actually want to work in. Obviously, not you will not succeed in every single job application you send out to or, or internship application. Uh, that you send out. Um, so do make sure you have enough breadth in, in your portfolio of um, job applications as you start. Start doing that whilst you are in university or just after university um, as well. So the key here is, is basically to find the people who, who are able to open the doors for you to actually um, then step into that corporate world and step into that place where you want to be able to showcase, showcase your skills and passion. Um, and basically do your elevator pitch, meet a lot of people, speak, 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 and, and discuss with different uh, people by highlighting your skill sets um, to them. Uh, and when, when you do get that opportunity to step into that corporate world, the next step, number three, key success factors in your in your corporate career is always 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 deliver more than what is expected of you so you will you will set yourself or the business or whatever corporate will define a set of targets for you uh, KPIs if you may um, objectives whatever you want to call them um, which you need to uh, need to achieve annually or, or, or you know quarterly half yearly whatever that might be do you make sure you deliver more than what these objectives actually define you you would have to do during that during that time always deliver more whatever that might be be open with regards to your um, de delivery capabilities um, be, be very specific in terms of coming out with your own ideas how to make things more more efficient how to improve different types of stuff in your workplace um, don't don't just stand there doing that or sit there doing that work which was defined um, that you would need to do um, think broadly find aspects of that business where which does not work properly and which there are unlocked value in them and and tell people hey please can I go ahead and resolve this problem can I uh, can I for example automize this this simple process which is now being done by two or three different people on a daily basis um, can we automate any other processes in, in here is there something that someone is doing which is simply non value adding for the business can we stop doing that sim that simple process for example always be open always be suggesting new ideas um, and basically de delivering yourself uh, more what is expected of you every single day because that is one of the key aspects which will open up more opportunities for you in the future as well as as your managers and, and people on higher levels actually see that a hey, this this person really really delivers and, and thinks broadly and, and just thinks on a higher level that is basically expected of you uh, in the beginning but do, do remember to be humble as well so don't expect to achieve a leadership position right from from the gates so obviously you will need to start from uh, from the grassroots levels and make sure you uh, know the basics first and, and then deliver more than what's expected um, succeeding or, or going forwards in your corporate career it, 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 it is it will be a gradual process so you will take a lot of steps during that process um, some, some some of which might be lateral some of which might be just small increments, but in time that will all accumulate, obviously, and, and you will then see progress over a longer period of time. So be patient, that's for sure. Number four, um, as per what I what I hinted in er, earlier on already, is expose yourself to ever increasing challenges. So uh, do stuff which is harder and harder to you um, every single day, or whenever you have the opportunity to do that. If someone proposes a challenge or, or gives you a challenge or, or says that hey would you like to be would you like to uh, to tackle this specific challenge or would you like to take up this specific role which is 
hugely challenging for you, which you might be afraid of even in, in the beginning, um, do make sure you grab that opportunity if it's possible for you. Because ultimately, believe in yourself and deliver in that new role. And whenever you're, you are exposing yourself to your non-comfort zone or uncomfort zone, that is when you will be um, um, developing yourself as a person, as a leader, as a corporate value-adding person and, and employee. So make sure you expose yourself to ever-increasing challenges. Take up challenge, more challenging and more challenging roles and do not be, be afraid of these. Uh, take up leadership positions, take up projects, propose projects which might seem very, very difficult for you in, in the beginning. And it is hugely important that, that you do this because otherwise you will just stand still. Next step, number five, how to be successful in your corporate career is simple as this, network, network, and network. Three simple words, which is basically one word only. Um, none of us can be successful in life or, or manage life by ourselves. That is a fact of life. So make sure you discuss with different people, discuss with um, higher and higher levels of leadership all the time when you have the opportunity. Go and say hi to them, go and shake their hands, go and propose something which would uh, add value to, uh, from their perspective to life in general or to their position or to the company uh, overall. Um, that is hugely important and, and don't limit that just to leadership uh, or higher and higher leadership um, personnel but just you know on the same level on lower levels everywhere do make sure that you know people and listen to what they have to say listen to their problems uh, propose solutions to to that because it is as human beings we need to help each other out and we need we do need to, to support people um, and that will obviously open up more opportunities for you as a corporate employee to take up new challenges um, see the corporate uh, challenges on a grassroots level or on higher levels in a different light when you hear that specific thing from another person in another function or in another part of the organization. It is huge, hugely, hugely important for we as corporate employees to understand the difference, different types of problems that, that people are seeing across uh, across the organization and not just problems, but you know proposals of how could we do things better because you're not going to be the idea generator um, of the year um, to say to say the least ideas um, development projects anything that can come from anybody um, and and then that can be hugely valuable for the company itself and to you as a co as a corporate employee to be able to contribute to that specific problem or development opportunity. So do make sure you network, network, network and know the people within your company as much as possible and listen to what the people have to say to you. Propose solutions and, and be personal with, with whoever you meet. These will be keys to opening up new, new opportunities for you as you progress in your corporate career. Number six how to be successful in your corporate career key points um, this might not be the the sort of usual trait in terms of what how you should be, uh, act or how what you should do in your corporate career but you have to be entrepreneurial you really have to be entrepreneurial that that's that's how i've seen what is really really important or, or how you should um approach uh, the company and your leaders and whoever you are working with, your team members, your colleagues and so on and so forth. All of these people are basically your customers at some level in any way. So your personal customers or your team's customers or your function's customers. So when you do the, when you take the entrepreneurial approach even to internal customers and it, well you can do that for external customers as well, you will have a different mindset by stating that whatever I do, my customers will be satisfied to the service or product I actually deliver. That, why that's been a hugely um, important factor in my life is because I've been able to motivate, motivate myself hugely by doing that, by simply stating that, hey, I need to do whatever it takes to, to make sure my customers are satisfied um, to the process or to the service I and my team are actually delivering. Because that ultimately adds adds to the corporate overall targets and KPIs 
and adds shareholder shareholder value on a grand scheme of things, if, if you may. So be very, very entrepreneurial and, and think, again, think broadly. Entrepreneurs always think broadly and think outside the box. Don't be, um, d or don't shackle yourself to, to uh, the, the likes of, okay, we've done things like this for the past 20 years. Why would we ever change that? Well, because there is there is a better way of doing that because of this and that. I thought it outside the box and found a better solution. Be entrepreneurial every single day and it will help you to motivate yourself and your team to deliver better results um, for your employee. Last but not least, guys, it is point number seven in this how to be successful in your corporate career. Keep showing up. What that means is, is there is a saying, so credits to Lay Norton for, for reminding me of this um, in one of his latest um, um, Instagram posts, is what is the difference between a champion and the rest of the people? Is simple as this, the champion always keeps showing up. Now this is a direct uh, message that you need to keep grinding so work hard every single day keep showing up that showing up at the office or if you if you if you're working in, in a virtual team keep showing up at the virtual work, workplace keep showing up online do the work that has to be done every single day regardless of whether that day is a weekend or a holiday or whether you are in the office or whether you are in holiday like like this one in Phuket I will be doing some work so these were the seven simple trades of how you can be successful in your corporate career. Uh, these have worked for me so far, I think, or I'm, I'm quite sure. Um, and I will be, myself, I will be, um, you know, sticking with these every single day of, of, of this career that I, I, am, I am currently on. Um, I hope these have been useful for you. Do, do comment below um, which ones are, are your key success drivers in your cor corporate career or in your own entrepreneurial career as well. It would be very interesting to learn your views on this because there is no simple or single truth in life. Uh, do make sure you listen to other views as well because it is important that we don't just stick our butts into one si single truth because there is no such thing as a single truth. We can always learn to be better, to think outside the box and to go forwards in life and to be better people and, and better employees, better entrepreneurs, better moms and dads, better husbands and wives, um, just better persons, I guess. So thank you very much for joining me with, in, in today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Do comment, like, click uh, subscribe below, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.